pointers a week, they are lowering the cutoff point each year. Go to the Poly website and you will see what I mean. They are lowering, cutoff points are getting lower and lower each year. And in 2015, this is an exceptional harvest for all of us. I'll tell you why in a short while. Okay, so how many of these are exactly A-level students? About 8,000, 40%. Okay, Leg eligible for JCs and they are coming to the polytechnics. So know who are competing with you for a place in the poly. You need to work hard. Now, what happens this year? The cutoff points were released this year and this is what happened. Take a look. Poly courses, all polytechnic courses saw an improvement in the cutoff points, okay, from last year. And how improved? 50 to 70 percent of the courses in the polytechnics have improved in cutoff points, ranging from one to four points. Okay, we were scolded by parents when this when the cutoff points were released. We got parents that tell us, you see, I choose this course because it's 18. Now it's 14. What do I do? Wow, this young, we got scolded, but what to do? How much has it improved? Take a look. These are all the polytechnic. These are the number of courses that have an improvement in the cutoff points. So things are not getting any, um, going to be any, uh, how would I say, it's going to get even more competitive, if you put it this way. Alright? Okay. So with this, how do you get into the polytechnic? First of all, you have to have the entry requirements. The entry requirements are English, C6 or better for business courses, D7 or better for other courses. Okay, I advise all students to aim for better, please. This is just minimum. Minimum does not guarantee entry into the poly year. Relevant two, two relevant subjects of which one must be a mathematics, C6 for all except for design, D7. Science, you need a science if you're looking at engineering, uh, applied sciences, any science, be it pure science, be it combined science, you need a C6. For business courses, you will need a humanities, combined humanities, POA, social studies, literature, all this are humanities, any one of these. And you have best two, any best two subjects. So if you're doing double math, one of the math you will use here, the other you will use as a best two. Okay? Now, CCA points uh, will not be considered as a relevant subject, but A1, A2, you net off two points. Everything else up to C6, you net off one. So students sitting here, your CCA are important. So please pay attention to your CCA, especially if you are in the border case. Take a look what one point would have done for you if this is a course that you wanted to get in. So do pay attention to your CCA. Okay, admission to the Polytechnic from O-level route. There are two exercises. The first one is done by MOE. The second is coordinated, coordinated by the five Polytechnics. They are all strictly based on results. The only difference between them is in the case of the second one, in addition to results, we are looking at students with talents in sports, entrepreneurship, uh, community service, and other creative areas. So that's one that you can look at in a line. Another admission exercise is a direct poly admission exercise that will take place in the O-level year. In addition to results, we are looking at students who have interest, inclination, attitude, and talents like leadership. And the best part about this is all this takes place before they sit for O-level exams and so they secure themselves a place first so all they need to do in the O-level exams is they have a peace of mind knowing they have got a place all they need to do now is to concentrate on their exam and make sure they keep that place yeah. then for NA students we have the Polytechnic Foundation Program a program only catered to the NA students sorry Express students my apologies this one is for the NA and NA you are a very privileged lot. No one will compete with you for a place in the Polytechnic under this program. The beauty about this program is while you will choose the course, once the course is secure, you will take one year to complete the foundation program and the place in the course will be waiting for you on the successful completion of the foundation program. So you do not need to reapply for the course. Okay. Eligibility for this group of students is five subjects English, math, and no. best three subjects. But two Less than one year. 11 points. Raw means before CCA to compute eligibility. 
Lesser than 11 point. And never announced. Doing the right subject. To me, this is very important. Myself, when I was in SEC 2, never really pay attention to my SEC 2 exam. So sorry to say. I only like mathematics. So that was the only subject I concentrated a lot on. And I did very well. Uh, would I turn back the clock and do it differently this time? The answer is yes. So students do take note. Other than your O level exams, the next exam that is the most important after before your O level exam is your SEC 2. Because your SEC 2 will determine what subjects you do. I was posted and I did pure biology. Oh god, I, I didn't like that subject. It was a lot of memory work for me, at least for me. But it probably makes you some numbers. So please do take it. Now you're gonna be faced with a lot of choices. What are you gonna choose? Literature, history, pure physics, combined science, what? What is important to know is the subject that you choose to do now may determine what you are going to happen to you as a post-secondary option. Right? You could do pure science, you could do combined science, do take note. If you were to go to JC, which is a viable option, JC has its merits, okay? If you were to do if you intend to go to JC, then I advise you to make sure you get a chance to do pure science. Okay? I'm not saying combined science will not get you there. Combined science will also get you there, but you need to work very hard when you're in there. Pure science will lay the foundation to your A-level course in the JC. So do take note. Okay, what about mathematics? Should you do additional maths? Should you do double maths? Most ideal. Double maths is an idea, okay? But, I don't know, work hard, we will see what happens. Now, as I mentioned, it determines where you go, the subject you're going to take. Very important. JC or more. More importantly, look at your interests, look at your aptitude, look at your ability, and choose the right subjects. It is this. Interest in one subject is one thing. The aptitude to excel in a subject is another matter. That must also be taken into account when you start choosing what you want to do. Certain careers, maybe it's a bit too late to talk too early at this stage to talk about careers, but some of you may have already got in mind what you want to do. If you want to become an engineer, then do take note. Physics is a must-have subject. So remember that. There are some subjects that are must-have depending on the career that you may want to pick up or your passion. Polytechnic courses are divided into four categories. Humanities, Business, Applied Sciences, or the Hard Sciences, and the last one, Media and Design. Okay? I'm going to be talking in terms of all these courses from the Polytechnic, in terms of what are the must-have versus the nice-to-have subject. Nice-to-have means it's not essential, but it is advantageous to have. Then I'm going to talk about having pure science versus combined science. What would, would that help? What would be the difference? What about additional mathematics? Is it necessary? Is maths necessary in every course? The answer is yes. What about art? Yes. Some of you, huh? Yes. Very, very important. 